Hello and welcome to my Dota 2 Pub Stomping with Life Stealer Guide. This is Sweet Shot, and let me get a couple of plugs in here real quick. Uh, you can follow me now at Twitter at Sweet Shot Games. Also, check out my podcast that I'm doing with Tony Ortiz. You can check that out at the website RadioInfluence.com and look for Defense of the Ale. I'm not going to go in depth on how to jungle. Um, but start out with a stout shield and a quilling blade and a tango and go to the easy creep camp in the jungle and farm off that as much as you can and that should give you some good farm. Make sure you're looking for an opportunity to set up a gank in the safe lane as soon as you are able to. With the help of your teammates and your open wounds you should be able to pick up a kill. This will give you some good extra farm and levels for your team. When you're ganking, try to wait till you're in attacking range to use your open wounds and your rage. This will allow you to get more attacks and before the effect wears off. I want to talk real quick about an armlet. This is a great item because it'll give you some good armor, good attack speed, damage, and HP even. However, it can be tricky to use, so if you are new to the game, or just aren't familiar with the item, you might want to skip it. Um, if you are new, go ahead and try picking up a Heaven's Halberd. Highly recommend that item because it gives you, again, good HP and damage. Also, it gives you a slow on proc, and it gives you an active ability that allows you to disarm an opponent carry um, disabling them, of course, from auto-attacking for four seconds. Being an effective jungler is not necessarily about how well you do jungle, but rather how well you come out of the jungle and help the rest of your team. This is why I typically avoid getting a Hand of Midas. That's because it will set you back 1400 gold and make it a little more difficult for you to help out your team in the early to mid game. Another item I love to get on Life Stealer is Assault Cross. That's because it gives you and your entire team a armor buff and an attack speed buff. And it also reduces surrounding enemies armor by 5. This will allow your whole team to be more tanky as well as deal more damage. In a team fight, you typically want to focus the enemy hero closest to you and with the most HP. This will make the most use out of your passive feast ability, giving you the most HP in return. Remember that your ultimate can be used either offensively or defensively. If you have another hero on your team who's better at initiating with a blink-like ability or something, Go ahead and jump inside of them with your ultimate and allow them to jump onto the enemy team and then you can jump out of them dealing some damage to the opponents and allowing you to wreak havoc upon them. Otherwise you can use it defensively waiting until you're generally low on HP or while you're waiting for your cooldowns you can jump inside of a friendly or enemy unit and then jump out when you're ready to save your life hopefully. A few other good items that you can pick up are a desolator which is very cost effective and gives you a ton of damage or a Mjolnir which will give you a ton of attack speed as well as a pretty solid active. However if you're getting a ton of farm and really pub stomping go for the Abyssal Blade which of course will give you a ton of damage and a nice little crowd control ability. So, that's how it's done. Now, go stomp some pubs with Lifestealer and let them know how you got so pro.